Hi, I'm Ellie and this is the Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create auto-generate reference number in Google Forms whenever someone submits a response. In this tutorial, we will use Apex Script. And don't worry, the coding part is so easy and I will give you the link to the code in the description and in our website. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn to create a unique ID for each response. Let's get started. Okay, let's create the form. Open Google Forms and create your form. Add the questions you need, like name, email, or details. Once done, click on the Responses tab and link your form to a Google Sheet by clicking the green sheet icon. In the Google Sheet link to your form, you'll see the default columns for responses. Insert a new column at the beginning and label it as reference number. Now open the AppScript interface. Go to the Extensions tab, AppScript. Delete any existing code. Now I type the code and then explain it to you. Okay, this is the code. First, let's talk about the function that makes all the magic happen. Here is the code we're working with and I break it down for you step by step. This is our main function. It's called auto-generate reference. The E part here is where the form submission event data comes in. Think of it as Google App Script saying, hey, something just happened. First things first, we check if this event object is valid. If it's missing or if something's off, we stop the function right here. Why? Because without proper data, our script wouldn't know what to do. Here we log an error message just in case something's not right. This helps us figure out what went wrong when debugging. Now let's move on to the good stuff, getting the data and generating the reference number. This line grabs the sheet where all your form responses are saved. It's like saying Hey, open the notebook where I keep all my notes. Here we figure out the last row in the sheet. Basically, the row where the most recent form submissions landed. This is super important because we want to work with this specific row. Now, here's where the fun happens. We create a unique reference number for each submission. It's formatted like this. Finally, we take the reference number and plop it right in the first column of the row that was just submitted. Now it's saved. Okay, so we got the function. But how do we make it run every time someone submits a form? That's where this next bit of code comes in. This function is called create trigger. Its job to set up the connection between your form and the script. We're telling apps script, hey, I want to use the auto-generate reference function as my trigger. Then we say this trigger is specifically for the current spreadsheet. And here's the magic phrase, on form submit. This ensures the trigger actives every time the form is submitted. Finally, we hit create to lock it in. Now save the project with a name like auto-generate ref numbers. Click the run button for the create trigger function to set up the auto-refresh system.
go to the triggers tab, clock icon in the left toolbar, or true extensions, after script, triggers. Add new trigger. Function, auto generate ref numbers. Event source, from a spreadsheet. Event type, and form submit. Now it's time to test your form. Go back to the Google Form interface and submit a test response in your Google Form. Now go to the Google Sheet to see the auto-generate reference number in the reference number column. Repeat to confirm it works for every new submission. Now if you want to personalize it further, you can change the prefix ref or tweak the date format to match your style. Ok, you learned how to create auto-generate reference number in Google Forms using AppScript. The coding part it was so easy, but you can find the link to the code in the description and also in our website. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.